Hello and welcome. It's a good day to be on the farm. My name is Chuck and this is Somerset Farms episode 8. And in the last episode we bought this field down here, number 34, that had been plowed. And I believe we're finally ready to cultivate something, which is something we tried to do, I think, at the very beginning of this series, episode 1 or 2, only to realize the field had already been cultivated or it already had a cultivated status so we're going to go ahead and give this a shot um let's see here so i've got a cultivator it's only a three meter which is a little small for me compared to what i'm used to, used to using but at the same time this is the equipment that we got when starting this farms farm so it's uh worth uh giving it a shot so we're going to go ahead and lower that and that's definitely changing the field state, which is good. So we're going to zoom in a little bit more and just hug this kind of outside edge and give ourselves kind of a strip to margin this off with. And then we will start heading on the 90 and 270 here. Um, let's run a 270 now to start kind of flattening this out. And let's see back this up and you can feel see this field 33 in front of me that has um actually let's jump out and look at it this one that has been harvested um but needs plowing um i'm thinking about getting that field as well and since we just plowed field 18 we've got the plow still on our case maxim tractor our heaviest horsepower tractor so this might be a good time to bring that down here um either at the end of this episode or next episode get this cotton field and start working on that so that's kind of what i'm thinking at this point um it is however getting ready to be the winter on this series um there's very little that we can plant in october um and even less that we can plant in november i think november is just grass so we're getting to the point where we're going to have to wrap it up and uh proceed to the next season Let's see, and this is going to have quite a bit of overlap. Let's see, but I think we can get a pretty straight strip here if we line it up correctly. Um, and I'm looking down the field a little bit, not necessarily here at this edge, trying to make sure I can get my 270 to work roughly where I want it to. Like this. And that's hopefully not going to give us any sort of gap. So, nope, I need to go back to where we're cultivating. Yep, and we're getting a nice piece of coverage there. The other thing is we have rain on the way today, I think about 2 o'clock. So, probably just about the time that I would be able to finish cultivating this field. Um, or finish having the worker cultivate the field. Um, would be when... Uh, the rain is going to start and you don't probably want to be cultivating too terribly much in the rain. It's going to get muddy and clumpy and stuck in your cultivator and just make it kind of a mess. So um, I will finish this field if it starts raining and we're not quite done, but I don't think I'll start much else after that if it's going to rain for the rest of the day, which if we look at the forecast, uh, yeah, like two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, pretty much raining for the rest of the day. So. That might be the end of this episode, in which case, or not the end of this episode, excuse me. Sorry, we just started this episode. The end of this day, in which case we would fast forward to November and start working on the next um, segment at that point. So that's kind of where I'm at. Looks like I missed a tiny little strip on that last one. So we'll overlap a little bit more this time going back. And I'm going to go ahead and actually hire out the worker. Um, and let the worker just get started and run in this field for us. We'll probably have to do a headland down here on the other end. So while that's going, let's flip down here to our big case, our Magnum 340. That's still got the plow attached. We actually never got it all parked up um, last episode, which works out fine. We're going to run this down there um, and just see about maybe getting that field and start plowing that as well. Um, see if we can double time those things. So we get those two fields going um and again i don't think we'll get anything planted in them but uh, at least we'll be moving forward for the next season so 
I guess our farms are pretty spread out at this point. I was originally thinking we'd take like 15, 16, 17 and just kind of run this section of the field. But at this point, looking at the uh, precision farming data, I think it's much smarter to just keep cherry picking the fields that are about the size that we want and have the appropriate um, soil and higher percentage yield like these ones that we've picked over here um, do, like this field 36 uh, has got a great yield potential because of the soil quality. So um, things like that are going to help um, us figure out what we want to do um, more so than necessary convenience or having a little grouping of fields like I tend to in most of the other series that I've run where I'm trying to get them all together, which is exactly how, oops, let me back up here exactly how it would work on a normal farm you couldn't buy well, i mean you could buy a bunch of inner non-connected lots but that would be probably kind of a pain um so let's see and there's a road there but it's just shrubs oh here's the entrance um let's see if it goes down to the other field i haven't actually looked um to see if this connects to the other field or looked at the soil data to see what percentage we've got or to how to get into this field but and that worker's just driving through the shrubs anyway which is probably what I was doing or was going to do um I can't tell does that gate the fence runs straight to the corner but there's no access here so the access has to be over there somewhere Well, anyway, here's cotton harvested, soil data not found, um, I guess. I thought this road would come down there, but it's not. Oh, it looks like the axe is down there. So we're just going to real quick jump through the hedge here. Nobody's watching. We didn't do any damage. It's fine. So I think this would be a nice little field to go with the other one. Here's our access down here. So it would have been if we would have just continued to wrap around that road and take a right there. So... Anyway, let's look at the map real quick. Um, so here's our field 34. And this is... Uh, yeah, this is 122 percentage expected yield potential, which is obviously really good. This one's at 110, 108, 108. So those are pretty good. Um, some of these other ones are a lot less. But this is 119, so it's really good like this one. I think it's a got this strip of loam that runs through the map here. So I think this is going to be uh, a good value and it's only 58,000. So let's go ahead and get it. And then since we're here, um, let's go ahead and see if we can get this plow working on this. And now I know, I know we're not going to get this done uh, before the rain starts, but we now own the field at least, and we can start making a dent. Um, in the work that we need to do here and that will help get us set up for future episodes so that's the plan um, we will kind of lean into getting field 33 and 34 turned i don't think we're going to get anything planted on them in um, this episode um, but we'll get something planted on them in the spring and that'll be just fine but i think this is going to be about the right number of, of fields I would say. Um, you can tell me. I don't know. Would you want to see? It? What would you guys prefer in the series, I guess, is what I'm trying to ask. Would you prefer to see a series where there's a ton of little fields? Or it, would you prefer to see something where we're working just a couple of the bigger fields? So, um, obviously, we're leaning towards little fields now. So, I suppose that's a loaded question. But I still like feedback and like to hear from you guys and, and see what you're enjoying or not enjoying or what you'd like to see differently or oh, i probably should have rotated this plow before it started down this strip but anyway and then let's see um on this next strip back down we're going to see if the worker will follow our line which is 10 degrees off so probably not usually it likes 15 or 20 degrees off the norm to follow that line or if it's just going to square it off and then we'd have to finish the edges anyway so if that's the case maybe better just to hand plow this one and not hire a worker um, it does have a nice angle to it and it's pretty much a square just slightly off center 10 degrees off the norm 
which again is is kind of fun and that's what i've loved about this map so far is all the fields are unique they're just a little bit wonky a little bit funny shaped and um that just makes it interesting at least i think so um to just get to do something a little bit different than that normal square now half the time i end up carving it into a normal square so that the workers can help me finish those things off but you know doesn't hurt and where did our tractor go i think it stopped on the cultivating here so let's um rotate that and turn it which is what we should have done the last time we went down the field I want to push that soil down here to the uh, to the west side so and then we'll go ahead and I'm just gonna lower this and get going and we'll go ahead and hire a worker and see yeah he's gonna turn to the 90 degrees but that's okay I want to see what this guy is doing I guess we'll let that guy plow for a little while while we come down here and cultivate um, and try to get this section squared off. I'm actually going to do an edge, I think. I'm going to trace the edge here. Um, no, I don't think I am. I think we'll do that last if we're going to do it. So we'll kind of lay this down here and get our plow going, or not our plow, our cultivator, and try to get this, um, I think we'll just do the strips back and forth and we'll just have shorter and shorter rows as we get to the south side of the field here. And then we'll have to come clean up where that other plow has been, or has not been, uh, at the end of the field and then finish off that triangle. But you guys saw plowing in the last episode, so we'll give you some cultivating in this episode um, so I guess the next question is what do we want to plant I know we've got canola running pretty heavy on the fields so far obviously our two planted fields are both canola um, and we had talked about the oil factory so we'd have a production chain working which I still think is probably a wise way to go um, in the spring or at least at harvest time so we have somewhere to dump that we could also just put it in the silo and then try to hold on to it and sell it. Oh, and I missed another strip. Um, this three meter is just so narrow. Um, but I'll have to come back and grab those strips here in the end so that I can plant on those. Because I'm guessing my planter won't plant into ground that isn't cultivated. Because um, it's not a direct drill. Or I don't believe it's a direct drill anyway. So... Yeah, I'll have to come back and fix that strip and the strip down at the other end. Um, but what kind of crops do we want to run over here? I know I tend to do wheat and barley. Did a lot of that on Erlengrat uh, because of the flour mill. Did a reasonable amount of that on um, Riverview as well um, to get the straw for the cows and to get feed for the chickens. Um, so those are crops I don't mind doing and we have the right harvester for. Um, but we could do something different on these fields too if you guys are wanting to see something different or maybe just we should try something different we could certainly go um, corn or something like that down here now i realize originally we had decided to not do that because we didn't have the right header and we had decided to get around out of those fields that didn't have corn um but it's certainly something we are able to consider and these fields aren't too big so i might even consider sugar beets or something like that or potatoes we could do a, a potato farm down here um because those are annoying on giant fields but they're not so bad on these smaller fields at least they're manageable in my opinion um so that could be something we do and again we get a really good yield down here um so i'm open to that um but i don't know we don't have to decide till till the spring rolls around so if you guys have an opinion about what you would like to see planted on these fields certainly let me know in the comments and uh, i'm open to suggestions and just seeing different things uh, that we've done on some of the other fields especially because we have a lot of small fields and a lot of cash so this is a, a unique opportunity in my series because they gave us all the equipment and 1.5 million dollars um 
normally I can get two or three fields and I have to do something that I know I can make profit on immediately to kind of keep that moving forward. In this one, since we were given equipment at the beginning and the cash, we've been able to buy kind of whatever fields we want and we have the cash to not need to rely on the crops for a profit right away or to have the ability to, to buy multiple different things. Like we could buy a brand new harvester with both headers um, plus I'd like maybe a little bit wider of a harvester anyway. I think the harvester that we have is actually about the right size for these small fields, but it's going to be kind of a pain on field 36 because that one is pretty big. So if we wanted to do corn or um, something, sunflowers would be another one. Actually, sunflowers makes a lot of sense because of the oil factory. Oh, we're in the way of that worker. So um, sunflowers makes a lot of sense because we could also process that oil and it's something we haven't done before. It would require a corn header or a sunflower header, I guess, but a different header than we currently have, but that's okay. I, we actually have the cash to buy that. So that could be something interesting that I'm, I'm certainly open to trying. Um, so I don't know. Um, I'm intrigued by that. I wonder when you have to plant sunflowers. So since that guy is down there and getting in my way, I'm going to actually pull this strip that we missed right here. And then we'll flip around and head back the other way. And then let's check what the planting seasons are for the various crops to obviously further this conversation and maybe get a little bit more zoned in on what we might actually want to plant um, on our fields here. Um, then we can see, you know, maybe we can get a double crop in on something since we're plant, plant, we have um, canola planted already. Uh, and that's going to go over the winter, although I think canola pretty much takes all year. Um, we can see when that comes available and to see if there's something we can plant after the canola, if we can turn the fields fast enough next summer, which will probably be wheat or barley, if I remember right. But All right, so we got that one strip. We're getting this other one. Let's look at our planting calendar. So we could plant wheat or barley today, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Um, our canola is harvestable in... August and September. So yeah, it'd basically be canola and then put wheat or barley on those or let them sit all winter, which is certainly an option. That's what we're going to have to do with these two fields. Sorry, we each reached the end of the row before I got a chance to check those other ones. Um, I'll just stop cultivating for a moment and we'll look at the map because we don't have that much farther to go. Um, so sunflowers are we can plant in March, so that'd be a good one to start with right away. Um, corn is an April plant. Um, uh, let's see. Potatoes could be March or April. Sugar beets could be March or April. Sugar cane, I've never done on anything. Cotton, we still can't afford, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, yeah. Grapes could be an interesting thing, not probably on this field, but on some of these fields eventually. But yeah, I, I think sunflowers or sugar beets or potatoes might be a good option for some of these smaller fields. So I guess let me know between those three which ones you think you would like to see. And I will kind of, we don't have to, since we don't have to plant anything today, we can make that decision over the winter and get our equipment bought. And we can look for some stuff on sales to see if anything happens to pop up that falls into those categories and um, then we can decide to do that together here um, in the next episode or the episode after once we fast forward for the went through the winter there's not going to be much to do on our two canola fields between now and harvest time so um, I don't anticipate spending a lot of time in January February um, doing any of that and I don't want to really do grass care on this series because we've done plenty of that on Erlengrot and then we're also doing grass care on Riverview right now um, to get feed for the cows. So I don't need three series with all the grass care. You've seen plenty of baling and tedding and all that stuff over there. So I think we've probably end up fast forwarding um, several months to get us to March when we could plant one of these two fields um, with something and uh, go from there. And then we also have field 18, I guess, that we just plowed um, that needs to have the same treatment, this cultivation done to it and get prepared. 
so that we can plant that as well. Um, though I thought I was going to make 18 a grass field just because of the way that it sits. That might be a good place for our production lines uh, if we decide to not put them in the yard. So that's always an option. Let me look at the map. What do we so I think we got everything. We just missed one tiny little strip up here. Let's see if we can find it real quick. Is it here? Yeah, I think it's right here. So we'll drop this down and pull all the way through. Yep, and that got it. And since we're already through the bushes, we're just gonna move forward. Pretend like these bushes aren't here. Um, we will technically need this cultivator back down here, but I think I'm gonna run it over to field 18 because I don't think we're gonna finish plowing that field today. So we'll drop this at field 18, run back and grab that plow and manually finish off the, the triangles on that one if we can. Um, if it starts raining too bad, we might just park that up and uh, do that in the morning in November. So. looking both ways the traffic here is super fast so we've gotten into a couple of wrecks with uh, the cars and uh, they go fast so you they actually move your tractors I've had them tip a tractor on this map before um, when I was driving around between recordings so I'm getting a little hesitant a little gun shy about pulling out into the main road there um, but alas it's fine and here's field 18. Should have went down through those um, areas, but we're just gonna cut through right there. So we did a pretty good job plowing this one over here. It's about ready to go, so we can start this. I'm just gonna park this up now. Um, this will be a, a tomorrow project as well. And I might not even record that. I might do that off camera. Let's get this guy lined up. Then we'll go ahead and fire him back up and get this situated and lowered. And we should be all lined up just about. And then we'll have a couple of spots we have to come back and fix. But yeah, I like this field 3334 down here. And it's got its own little yard where we can park equipment, which is nice. Um, oh, missing a whole row. What are you doing? So, but these are nice little fields, um, and I think this will be a, a good area to experiment, plus 122% um, yield potential is great. Nope, don't plow there. Rotate it. There we go. And I don't normally like to plow, but this uh, is a pretty big plow and these fields are pretty small. Like I am not gonna plow field 36 myself if we end up having to plow that because I think periodic plowing is turned on right now since we've had to plow most of these fields that we're working here. Um, I'm just gonna hire that out to a worker. I don't have the patience to do a field that big um, by myself with a plow like this. Otherwise, I will go get that mod plow that I've used on several series before um, that basically just makes it a three or a six meter behind the tractor with the lower horsepower requirement. So you can literally just do it like you would a cultivator and run over and plow it. That's how I tend to handle plowing in the past just because these implements are fun to use, but they don't they're not very wide and to get a big one you need a really big tractor like this magnum barely can i mean it, it can pull this one just fine but i wouldn't want to get a plow much bigger than this and it's still only maybe three or four meters wide so i'm just used to big tractors being able to pull bigger equipment than this but that i guess is what plowing is so it's not my favorite job on the farm i guess is what i'm going to say and we couldn't get lined up, so now we're going to miss that. So we have to come back and get lined up this way. While we're fixing things, we might as well go fix that other part of the field as well. And 
So let's head down here and I'll start a row on this one. So I was expecting the rain to come, but we've actually been able to, I guess, wait it out. I mean, not entirely, but we're actually making more progress than I thought we were going to on these two fields today, which feels good. And ultimately, I think I'm going to actually wrap it up here. Um, you guys have seen me plow enough and cultivate, and the rain is coming. So I'll finish this up probably off camera and then meet you guys in November when we're starting those other fields. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do um, to ensure that you're getting access to the newest and best episodes that I have available. Uh, and I just appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, um, you know, liking the videos and, and for the comments. I really appreciate those. That keeps me going um, and keeps me excited to keep making this content for you. So appreciate you guys. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.